26th Arkansas Infantry Regiment, the 26th Arkansas Infantry 1862-1865 was a Confederate Army Infantry Regiment during the American Civil War. The regiment was also known as Morgan's Battalion and the 3rd Trans Mississippi Rifle Regiment. The unit served entirely in the Department of the Trans Mississippi and eventually surrendered at Marshall, Texas at the end of the war. Organization Service Prairie Grove Campaign The 26th spent the late summer to early fall of 1862 on outpost duty along the White River. The unit was stationed at Fort Hindman near Duval's Bluff and at Camp Hope slash Camp Nelson, which served as a forward base camp for the units manning the White River line. They then marched north to Van Buren, where they were assigned along with the 28th, 30th, and 32nd Arkansas to form a brigade under Colonel Dandridge McRae in Shoup's division in M.G. Thomas Hindman's 1st Corps of the Army of the Trans-Mississippi. McRae's brigade fought in the Battle of Prairie Grove on December 7, 8, 1862. Regimental strength of the 26th Arkansas at Prairie Grove was 412 rifles. Helena Campaign Following the Battle of Prairie Grove, the 26th spent the winter of 1863 in Little Rock, having arrived there in late January 1863 after the retreat from Van Buren. The regiment moved to Camp Anderson, which was on the north side of the Arkansas River and about five miles from the city, on March 5, 1863. The regiment left Camp Anderson on May 20, 1863, and arrived at Camp Cable, near Fort Smith, on June 1, 1863, where the regiment was assigned to a brigade commanded by Brigadier General William L. Cable. Summer 1863, T3, T3. The regiment was assigned as the Provost Guard for Fort Smith. Individual companies were detailed out at locations up and down the Arkansas River Valley but the main force of the regiment remained at Fort Smith during the spring and summer of 1863. In addition to garrisoning this frontier post, their responsibilities including providing security and support for the post hospital, containing approximately 1,500 wounded. While the regiment was garrisoning Fort Smith, it was determined that the unit would be required to elect new regimental officers. When the Confederate Congress passed the first of its three conscription acts on April 16, 1862, the intent was to provide conscript replacements or fillers for those regiments already in Confederate service, not to raise new regiments. Major General Thomas C. Hindman had consciously ignored the letter of the April 1862 conscription act and his own orders from General Beauregard, which prohibited the formation of new regiments. General Hindman had also assumed the power to appoint officers for the new regiments that he began forming to replace those units which had been transferred east of the Mississippi under General Van Dorn. Later, the Confederate Congress retroactively authorized the acceptance of these somewhat illegally formed regiments and battalions, and in legislation, which was announced by the Confederate Adjutant and Inspector General Office, Order No. 108 dated August 4, 1863 gave these conscripted regiments the right to elect their regimental office. Apparently Colonel Morgan, who had been appointed Colonel of the 26th at its formation, had become dissatisfied with his command to the point that he tendered his resignation on August 19, 1863, but General Holmes, who had by then replaced General Hindman in command of the Department of the Trans-Mississippi, did not accept Morgan's resignation. Word of Morgan's dissatisfaction and subsequent resignation must have gotten around, however, as evidenced by attempts of many officers to curry favor with the men in hopes of advancing themselves via election. The regimental politics soon came to a standstill due to pressure from an advancing federal army, which resulted in the evacuation of Fort Smith by troops under Brigadier General Cable and the subsequent Battle of Devil's Backbone on September 1, 1863. Colonel Morgan remained in command until December 1863, when the regiment underwent reorganization at Camp Bragg, near Camden in Wachita County. Colonel Morgan did not stand for re-election. 
F. P. Yell was elected colonel and accepted his commission on December 6, 1863, and Morgan was relieved as of that date. Colonel Morgan accepted an appointment as the transportation officer for the Trans-Mississippi Department staff. Fountain Pitts Yell was elected to succeed Colonel Morgan in command of the 26th Arkansas and was commissioned colonel on December 6, 1863. Following the evacuation of Fort Smith, the 26th was reassigned to its old brigade, now under the command of Lucian Gows and composed of the 26th, 32nd, and 36th Arkansas regiments. Gowsey's brigade spent the winter of 1863 camped southwest of Little Rock. Morale was sinking, not only because of the loss of Little Rock, but because many of the 26th soldiers' families were destitute and starving. Many soldiers were granted furlough or simply took French leave to go the short distance home to provide for their families that summer and fall, subject to recall for the upcoming campaign. Red River Campaign Upon the launch of the Federal's Red River Campaign, seizing Alexandria, Louisiana, and moving on Natchitoches and Shreveport, General Churchill's Arkansas Infantry Division, including Gauze's Brigade, and the 26th Arkansas was sent south to Shreveport, Louisiana, in early March 1864 to assist General Kirby Smith's army. Churchill's division reached Keechee, Louisiana, in time to support General Richard Taylor's main force, who routed Banks' army in the Battle of Mansfield, Sabine Crossroads, on April 8, 1864. The next day, the Confederate forces united to attack the Union rear guard at Pleasant Hill on the afternoon of April 9. The Confederates had endured a long forced march from south central Arkansas to Mansfield and another of ten hours to Pleasant Hill that day with only two hours rest. The Union troops held a formidable position, and although the Arkansans and Missourians fought valiantly, they were repulsed and retreated six miles to the nearest water. Colonel Yell was killed in the 26th charge on the Union works at Pleasant Hill, and Lieutenant Colonel Brooks succeeded to command of the regiment. After the Battle of Pleasant Hill, Churchill's division made a hasty return with General Kirby Smith back to Arkansas to assist General Price in dealing with the other half of the Red River campaign, Union General Frederick Steele's Camden expedition moving southwest from Little Rock. The division and Gauze's brigade arrived just in time to join the pursuit of Steele's army as it retreated from Camden, and joined in the attack on Steele as he tried to cross the Saline River at Jenkins, Ferry on April 30, 1864. After an all-night march through a rainstorm and ankle-deep mud, Gauze's brigade fell upon the Federal rear guard and drove them for more than a mile, until the brigade on their flank began to give way. Reinforced by Tappan's brigade, and personally led by General Churchill, the Confederate line rallied and drove the Federals from the field. Close of the war, Gauze's brigade and the 26th Arkansas returned to the vicinity of Camden following Jenkins, Ferry, and saw no substantial combat for the remainder of the war. The unit was transferred to Brigadier General J. S. Rowan's brigade, Churchill's Arkansas Division in September 1864. On 31 December 1864, General Kirby Smith's report on the organization of his forces lists the 26th Arkansas under the command of Colonel Brooks as belonging to Brigadier General John Selden Rhodes, 1st Brigade of Acting Major General Thomas J. Churchill's 1st Arkansas Infantry Division of Major General John B. Magruder's 2nd Army Corps. Rome's brigade was ordered to move to Fulton, near Washington, in Hempstead County on 19 January 1865, in order to assist with the building of fortifications along the Red River. The brigade was then ordered to move to Minden, Louisiana, on 26 January 1865, where they established winter quarters. Lieutenant Colonel William Hicks resigned February 1, 1865, to become state senator. Union commanders in the Department of the Gulf reported on March 20, 1865, that General Rohn's brigade was composed of four regiments, Colonel Gow's, 250 men, Colonel Hill, 250 men, Colonel Brooks, 250 men, Colonel Davy, 250 men. 
It indicated that all of Churchill's division, except for Shaver's regiment, was located at Minding. By 1 April 1865, elements of Rome's brigade had been ordered to Shreveport, Louisiana, and then a week later were ordered to move to Marshall, Texas. The brigade was at Marshall, Texas, when the surrender occurred. Campaign Credit The regiment was involved in the following engagements. Battle of Prairie Grove, Arkansas, December 7, 1862. Battle of Devil's Backbone, Arkansas, September 1, 1863. Red River Campaign, Arkansas, March, May, 1864. Battle of Pleasant Hill, Louisiana, April 9, 1864. Battle of Jenkins Ferry, Arkansas, April 30, 1864. Surrender. This regiment surrendered with the Department of the Trans, Mississippi, General E. Kirby Smith commanding, May 26, 1865. With few exceptions, the Arkansas Infantry Regiments in the Trans-Mississippi simply disbanded without formally surrendering. When the Trans-Mississippi Department surrendered, all of the Arkansas Infantry Regiments were encamped in and around Marshall, Texas were ravaged Arkansas no longer able to subsist the Army. The regiments were ordered to report to Shreveport, Louisiana, to be paroled, but none of them did so. Some individual soldiers went to Shreveport on their own to be paroled. Others reported to Union garrisons at Fort Smith, Pine Bluff, or Little Rock to receive their paroles, but for the most part, the men simply went home.